Welcome back to my channel mga panalig. So for today, pag-uusapan naman natin ng career placement examination or qualifying exam ng mga incoming third year sa fields ka. So kung gusto mong pumasa, manood ka. So yun nga, um, technically, yung qualifying exam or yung CPE, career placement examination, ay tinitake ng mga incoming third year dito, um, chinacheck kung pwede kang mag third year. Kung baga parang, this is a test kung ano yung natutunan mo ng first year, second year. So bago natin simulan, uh, a small prayer will help. So um, hinihikayat kayo na ilike yung page ng ating kapanalig na si Norilyn Puno, si Nori Puno. She is beloved. Yan. Um, makakuha kayo dyan ng mga soul checks or mga um, word of wisdom. Going back sa ating topic, um, nagtanong ako sa mga kakilala ko from other campuses, uh, Villamore of course, and then other campuses, ng fields ka kung paano ba nila tinake yung CPE nila or yung qualifying exam nila and kung meron pa sila naaalala. Kasi back in the days, nung kami, 2014, 2015, nung incoming third year kami, um, ang exam kasi namin is actual. So, nasa hangar kami and then, depende kung kaninong prof ka matatapat. So, shout out kay Sir Magangan, kay Sir Martin, kay Sir Magno, and kay Sir Bitoy. Shout out po. Tapos, sila yung magtatanong sa'yo kung hand tools ba? Kasi may mga hand tools ipapaturo sa'yo. I mean, sasabihin nila kung anong hand tools to and then, i-identify mo and anong gamit and kung marunong ka or Minsan yun nga yung pagbabasa ng calipers, um, yun yun na yung pinaka-exam. Or minsan, dadalhin ka dun sa SES na nasa hangar, and it, may, itut- may sasabihin silang parts, ituturo mo, or may ituturo silang parts, sasabihin mo naman kung anong um, name na nandun na rin yung gamit. So, back in the days, ganon. So, ngayon, I think nag-start yan 2017, kung hindi ako nagkakamali, correct me if I'm wrong. 2017, nag-start yung um, written exam na kailangan yun nga, kailangan maipasa mo siya. And as per dun sa mga natanong ko na nakapag-exam ng written, um, sabi nila nahahati ito, ito sa lima. So, yung AMT General, Power Plant System and Components, Power Plant Theory and Maintenance, Airframe Structures, and Airframe System and Components. So, hindi ko lang sure kung, <laughs> kung paano yung pagkakasunod-sunod nila and kung ano yung um, under nila na questions. So, tinanong ko nga sila, yung mga kaibigan natin, ganyan. And then, sabi ko, may naaalala ba kayo ng mga tanong? So, yung iba kasi hindi na nila maalala ng buong-buo. So, ginawa na lang namin ng paraan para, I mean, maging reviewer siya in a way. Maging um, tip siya in a way. So, one of the question here is, It's like identification. I think this is in hand tools. So, designed for inserting and removing nails. So, uh, the uh, answer is claw hammer. And then, adjustable, used on large nuts and other work. Too large for the crescent wrench. Monkey wrench. And then, Ayun nga, yung pagbabasa ng ng caliper, ng vernier at ng micrometer calipers, uh, baka daw lumabas. Hindi pa rin daw sila sure. <laughs> Kasi parang last year, parang yun nga, hindi naman siya, they did that gave us the exact um, questions. Kasi nga last year pa naman yun. So, nagtanong-tanong lang naman tayo. So, at... Uh, yung pangatlo is used to trim excess muslin from the edges of flats as well as to cut out stencils and other lightweight cutting projects. So, ang sagot ay utility knife. Ayun. So, also, dun sa isa pa, eto rin. So, a device in the ignition system of a reciprocating engine that produces a spark which ignites the fuel air mixture in the cylinder spark plug a component in a gas turbine engine used to ignite the fuel air mixture when the engine is being started so spark plug exciter gas turbine hot section or igniter so it's igniter 
And then, the source of high voltage electrical energy used to produce the spark of the spark plug to ignite the fuel air mixture inside the cylinder of reciprocating engine. So, magnetism, magneto, spark plug, or ignition coil. So, it's a spark plug. So, yan. And then, kaya natagalan ako sa pag-vlog kasi nga, um, ang dami kong tinanong, and then, formulate, nag-formulate kami ng questions, possible questions, na lumabas nga sa ating uh, CPE or qualifying exam. Next question is, what is the purpose of vertical fin? Or, vertical fin is to provide what? So, lateral stability, longitudinal stability, overall stability, or directional stability? The answer is directional stability. And then, the acute angle formed by the chord line of a wing and the relative wind is known as Angle of incidence, center of gravity angle, or angle of attack? The answer is angle of attack. And what is the purpose of the wing slot? The answer is reduce stalling speed. So, yun. So, next question is, what is the purpose of the stator blades in the compressor section of the turbine engine? So, Ano yung purpose niya ng stator blades? So yes, uh, the, the purpose of the stator blades in the compressor section of a turbine engine is to control the direction of the airflow. So yan, tandaan natin yung mga ganyang bagay. Also, meron din yun nga, yung mga simple abbreviation. So dapat alam natin yan. So APU stands for... What does APU stands for? Yan. So, auxiliary power unit. So, combustion turbine and exhaust can be found in what section of turbine engine? It's actually found in cold section because the turbine engine is consisted, or the gas turbine engine is consisted of combustion turbine and exhaust. The cold section of the gas turbine engine. And also, guys, I'll be putting a link down below sa 61 na files na meron kami. These files came from um, different people na yun nga, nagre-review, may reviewer. Yan, pasensya na kami yung may napok po kasi may gumagawa sa kapitbahay. Pero, um, yun nga, may link akong ilalagay. It's on my Gmail or it's on the G Drive, Google Drive. So, pwede nyo siyang i-download for future references and para ma-reviewin nyo rin, ma-review nyo rin, di ba? What is the purpose of power check on reciprocating engine? So, ang sagot doon ay to determine satisfactory performance. So, yung mga ganun bagay, parang very common sense. So, kailangan mo lang talaga intindihin yung, yung, sa, yung tanong and then you can get the answer naman. What is the main advantage of Skydrol? Ano yung main advantage ng Skydrol compared to other fluid na meron tayo for aircraft? So, I think one of the best or main advantage of Skydrol is syempre, it can operate in a wide temperature. So, wide operating temperature siya. So, even too cold or too hot, I think it can compared with other um, fluid na ginagamit natin for aircraft. Which rivet is used for riveting magnesium alloy structures? So, anong rivet yung ginagamit natin? for magnesium alloy structures. So, eto, I think, riveting was taught first year college with the old curriculum. I want to go new curriculum. So, the answer will be 5056 or 5056. Yan yung ginagamit natin for magnesium alloy structures. Tapos, saan naman natin ginagamit yung monel rivet? Yung monel rivet. So, the monel rivet is used for riveting nickel steel alloys. I think ito yung mga riveting rin and yun nga yung parang um, hand tools and riveting yung mga nadaanan natin. It's a good refresher na daanan ulit 
And then, yun nga, may link below. Hanapin nyo na lang dyan yung mga files na kailangan nyo. I mean, this is a reviewer. This is not a, um, a cheat code or whatsoever. These are lectures and um, manuals na na-acquire natin. So, makakatulong siya. Makakatulong naman siya. Ayun, yung, I think, very basic yung yung five events of a four-stroke cycle engine. Diba? I think, very, isa to sa fundamental na tinuturo sa atin, yung five events of a four-stroke cycle. Of course, ang pagkakasunod-sunod niyan ay intake, compression, ignition, power, and exhaust. What I suggest is, yun nga, um, magbasa tayo, mag-aral, mag-review, and kung matutuloy man ang CPE, um, at least handa tayo, kung hindi man siya matuloy, at least um, nakapag-refresher tayo. And ayun lang, keep safe. And also nga pala, um, Black Friday, that shirt I am wearing today, Black Friday, I think will be on sale on July 15 to 18. The, eto, itong t-shirt ko, um, na lagi nakikita, on sale siya. Buy any two or more shirts and get each shirt for only 300 kasi 350 to eh. So, buy two or more and 300 each na lang siya. All the best sa lahat na magtitake ng career placement examination or ng qualifying exam. I hope nakatulong ako in a way. Thank you very much for watching my vlog. Um, Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at HappyPhilPH and on YouTube Happy Feel and on Facebook Happy Feel. Ayan. Maraming salamat mga panalig. Bye-bye.